Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in Space Engineers, and I am done working on a portion of the Death Ray of the Death Star. So this is the dish, as you see in the in the video or in, in the in the video in the movie, and uh, you can see it comes down to a center point or center hole where the laser is then blasted out. Um, and then it's attached um, or it correlates or connects to these lasers that are coming out of each of the corners. Uh, it's, I don't know if the Death Star or DS-1 had eight or six, but in this one we have eight. Now I have a lot of problems with these laser antennas. They are broken. Um, as you can see here, this is not how they're supposed to look. They're supposed to be within the cowl here or within this section and looking upward. I don't know why they're not. I think that's just a, a problem on their end uh, because it's the new models. They haven't adjusted them. Maybe that's going to be in the patch or has already been a part of the last patch. But... Yeah, this is the focusing lens, I guess you would call it for the Death Star, and it leads down here, and then uh, underneath, the laser goes all the way down, and this is only a part of the laser, because there is a good 200 blocks more downward that we have to go, so as far as how much of this is done we are only 25 percent done with this with this death ray so one of the things that i was seeing in the pictures is that it had this the section on the side here and the way it worked is that you had the death ray that went down or the the main laser that went down into a section down here and then there's four port four parts that came back up into this cowl and I guess they connect up into this this thing here now I have to say this is probably my favorite thing that I made in in this so far it just has a really cool look to it and I'm, I'm just digging it especially since it's just a rounded edge and then it's uh, created out of a circle Circles in the game are making me happy. I, I mean, I'm, I was expecting that they would be the hardest part of the whole thing, is just making the circles that are required for for the stuff. But actually, it's it's been not too bad. So once we go into here, you'll see that this isn't just an empty container. It actually has these four orbs, which are also depicted in some of the pictures that I've seen and you have these like cables or these uh, coils or whatever you want to call them that are coming out to the sides here so how these actually work as far as in our uh, system is that each one of these orbs has um, has six reactors on each side so for six six sides so six times six is thir 36 <laughs> it's been so long since i've um, done math uh, stuff but anyway there's 36 reactors in each one of these orbs and then they are connected up correctly so that if you were to say feed this down through here and through the parts that are going to be coming back up into the dish that you would be able to feed uh, plutonium to them the way i think of this is more of a capacitor that pulses or creates an electrostatic charge like a actual cap that's in a uh, car stereo it whole it pulls in energy and releases a lot of energy whenever the bass hits and that's how you get your really deep uh, bass notes 
that's what I'm thinking of these, except for instead of base, what they're doing is they're adding that extra oomph to the laser as it hits the crest of the dish. I don't know though, to be honest. Um, this, this is just me making up things because I have no other reference than the pictures that I've been using that have no detail as to what the actual pieces are for, but I want to make it as realistic as possible. And so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm working on it. Haven't done detailing on this yet. Really don't know if I'm going to because we're going to be pretty tight. We have a circumference that we have to keep open because of the fact that we're going to be attaching this to a rotor so that it can then attach to the core. At least that's where I'm at right now. So that is it that's where i'm at but i wanted to go ahead and answer some quick questions that i had uh one of them was how was i counting out how many blocks that i had like um right here you have three blocks how did i count those out well whenever you first get the game and now i've owned the game for two years so i don't know if this is still how it is but whenever i got the game you started out where you could only place a single block so what i'm going to do for those of you who do have Space Engineers and have been playing it for a while, you know that when you press and hold the left mouse button, you should be able to then drag it across. What I'm going to do is do that right now. I'm pressing and holding, but it's only putting down one block. So for those people who are coming into the game, that's the only way they know how to place blocks. Well, what you can do is you can go into Options, go to Game, and then go to building mode and change that to line. Then we're going to go ahead and press OK. And we'll escape out of there. And now when I press and hold the left mouse button, it puts a block there, but allows me to then place down blocks, giving me the number of blocks that I placed. So there we go. We placed four. We're going to delete four. The other question was about copying and pasting. So let me go ahead and just put down, say, five blocks. There we go. Actually, that's six because I put down a block first. So I, say I want to copy this five blocks and make this 10 blocks. I know that this is not really anything that's too hard, but uh, what I'll go ahead and do is give you the overview. So if you've done anything in Word, or Excel or anything along those lines or just did anything where you had to copy and paste something that is exactly what I'm doing so in the options whenever you make your game you have an option to use copy and paste in I think it's creative mode I don't know if you can do that in survival but in creative mode what you do is you do control C to copy and then um, you would just place it wherever you want and then uh, click the left mouse button and it places it. Um, if you want to um, copy or get rid of this or you want to add it to your, your, um, your paste menu, uh, you can do control X. Make sure I'm targeting the right thing. Control X and we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, copy it here. So Control X, yes. And now what I can do is I do, can do Control V to re-add it. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around real quick. And then I can do Control V again. And I can go ahead and add that. So now it's double the length. One of the things that I like to do, especially when you're doing a lot of big building like this, is I like to put a marker. So say I have this marker, I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this out um, to the full length, that 20, and then we'll do the same on this side. Oh, by the way, if, you, <laughs> if you're like me, I would go ahead and press Control and mouse all the way out. It makes it so that no matter what distance you're, you're working in, at least you don't have to travel too too far so there we go so what i want to do is i want to make sure that i place this exactly where this is and um what i'll do is i'll just do Control copy 
and you'll see that if I was to place this now it would place upside down so we want to go ahead and place it correctly <laughs> um, and once those two match up uh, there you go now this doesn't seem very hard what I'm doing here but whenever you're talking about circles or I ended up making this whole cowl I did it on one half cut it away put a marker down um, let me go over here press in and I put a marker down on each side and that way I'd make sure that I was moving the cowl into the correct location but that's pretty much it that's the copy and pasting that I'm doing if you have any other questions as far as if you're new to the game and you need some help with anything let me know if you have any suggestions that I should change or do on this let me know as well also I don't have the ability to use mods just because of the fact that I'm I'm working on my main computer at home and I don't live near a place where internet is accessible we cannot get internet where I live because we're too far out into the woods and I'm not saying that I'm <laughs> living off the grid or anything it's just that where I live they will not put um, the posts down for us to be able to get internet though we could probably pay for it to be done but they've advised us that it would cost probably a hundred thousand dollars to do it and i'm not going to pay a hundred thousand dollars for internet <laughs> just letting you guys know but if you guys uh whenever i get done with this if you want to add in some mods that would allow the laser to work correctly then absolutely do it because i'm going to release this by itself when it's fully done and fully colored in the way I want it to and then um, I'll release the Death Star with it added in as well as its separate component and if you can do a video showing me what you've done to make it look like the actual laser that'd be amazing but this is it for now hopefully you enjoyed this is Cypher Deck peace out